Dogs set for slaughter in South Korea are safe in Colorado tonight. Rescuers saved nearly 300 dogs from what's called a meat farm. We first told you about this last week, and CARDIO News Channel 13's Emily Allen saw those dogs and met with rescuers tonight. She joins us live here in studio with new information. James and Heather, these dogs came a, from a province um, in South Korea, which is also going to be the site of the 2018 Winter Olympics. Now they traveled across the Pacific Ocean, and now 10 of these dogs are right here in Colorado. Romeo has traveled thousands of miles to get here, but this is just the start of his journey. They're really not used to being handled. They're not used to being petted. They're not used to, to some of the things that we think of with dogs. Romeo and these three other dogs were the first to arrive here. They grew up in deplorable conditions at this meat farm in South Korea. For a lot of these dogs, they've spent their entire life living in a crate about this size. Humane Society International is working with Korean dog farmers to help rescue their animals and transition out of the dog trade. The Korean government is pitching in, eager to clean up its image ahead of the 2018 Winter Olympics. After watching what happened in Sochi during the um, 2014 Olympics, they're, they're very aware of wanting to have particularly some of their animal issues be a little bit more positive than um, occurred in Sochi. The Larimer Humane Society works closely with Humane Society International and had space available, so rescuers ship dogs here. Executive Director Judy Calhoun says she's excited for their future, but sad to think about their past. It does, it seems to me particularly sad, the kind of conditions they were in. To me, that's it's almost harder than the, the fate that they might have suffered. So while these dogs are far from South Korea, these paws are one step closer to a forever home. These dogs will be up for adoption, but it is going to take a while. They're going to go through behavioral and medical tests, and then the Humane Society will work with the owner to help them train and care for these dogs. In the Newsplex, Emily Allen Cario, News Channel 13. All right. Thanks, Emily.